What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwid, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. But today, we are actually not going to be talking about Madden 25. No, no, no. We are actually going to be talking about Madden 15, which should be coming out sometime this August. And I know, we're months in advance at this point. But I see other people making videos that are somewhat like this, and I thought, you know what? Before they're done making the changes and actually putting together this game, I would love to have some of my opinions voiced. So while I'm talking, you guys are actually going to be watching some head-to-head -head seasons gameplay from uh, last night, and I actually played two games, and uh, I'm actually in the All-Pro Second String Division. I've been actually using the head-to-head -head seasons to kind of practice in between pink slips and wager games, so that's why you guys haven't seen much in the way of head-to-head uh, -head seasons lately because I'm trying out new offenses, trying out new defenses, and just trying to, you know, get a better all-around gameplay. So anyway, let's talk about Madden 15 because I think that there are actually some very easy things that EA Sports could do to make this game significantly easier on us as players. So, you know, there's always going to be people out there that are, you know, putting out all these ideas as far as, you know, what type of packs should be in the game and how should players be rated and what type of promos should be done and that kind of stuff. And eventually I'm sure I'll be getting to those things. I, I expect that I'll probably be making this into somewhat of a series at least, maybe two, three, maybe four parts uh, where I just talk about some things that I want to see. But in today's video, I'm just going to be entirely talking about things that will not really change the gameplay that much, but just make things significantly easier on us and not be such a pain in the ass. So, number one, and this one I think is the very easiest, and I don't understand why, why EA hasn't done it. So, they've got these contracts that you have to put on players, and everybody knows you get pretty much mostly bronze contracts for the most part in most packs. Occasionally you get a silver, rarely you get a gold, but basically the bronze contracts are things that you can only either get in packs or by purchasing them off of the store. So when you purchase them off of the store, you actually in the current game have to buy them individually and everybody knows this. What a pain in the ass it is. And not only do you have to buy them individually, you actually have to add them to your current roster and you know go through all this rigmarole even just to get them to be able to be put onto your players that need a contract. So my suggestion is something very simple and is something that other people have voiced and I just want to sign on with it. Let's make some contract bundles. Let me buy 20 contracts at once, 10 contracts at once, maybe even 100 contracts at once. What's the problem? I don't care. I'll even pay a little bit more just to not have that pain in the ass. Please, EA, it's so simple. Please, please, please let us buy bundled contracts. It would be such a nice thing to have. Moving on to number two. Now, this one actually has to do with collections. And, and again, this is something that I think other people have voiced. But, again, I want to sign on with this. Why is it that when I have collectibles that are in my reserves, that I have to send them to my current roster before I add them to my pending collections and before I actually am able to collect them? What a, Again, what a pain in the ass. Why not just make it so that I can send things from my reserves to my pending collections? Why is this so difficult? Is there some sort of, like, weird glitch in your game where you can't do that i mean it, it seems to me that that wouldn't be very difficult to change and please i i would just love to have that because it would save us all so much time it would make doing collections so much easier so please ea allow us to send cards from our reserves to pending collections now the third thing that i want to talk about also has to do with collections and it actually also has to do with the pending collections. So basically, as of right now, if you want to do a collection, you can only send things from your current roster, like I said before, to a kind of like little cloud space, I guess you could call it, where you have 20 slots to actually store a few cards before you put them into a pending collection. Now, that is particularly annoying to me because Although there's 20 slots, it's so ridiculous because there are collections that are 
more than 20 cards. So what ends up happening is that you go to your reserves. You take the collectibles out of your reserves. You put them onto your current roster. You take them from your current roster. You send them to pending collections. You go into the collections menu, add the cards, and then you have to go all the way back to your reserves and do it again and again in some cases. Why? Why can we not have a bigger pending collection slot? It would just make things, again, so much more convenient for us. Please, this isn't that difficult to do. I'm begging you, EA, please. Just make things easier on us. We can just maybe have like 100 slots. So that way, if there's like some crazy collection that requires 100 cards, hey, we're able to do it in one fell swoop. It doesn't have to be a ridiculous pain in the butt. That would be convenient, wouldn't it, guys? Yeah, I think so. So, number four also has to do with the collections. And this one is something that I think should be... I don't even understand why they have it in the game the way that it is, to be completely honest with you. So, when you go actually into the collections menu and you're putting cards into collections, you actually have to do it individually every single time. Now, some of these are not that bad because there's only a couple cards per collection, but some of them are just so freaking tedious because it's like... They're not in any sort of order, it seems like, sometimes, when, when, especially when they come in your actual pending collections. They're not in any sort of order, so you actually have to scroll through with the thing and find the guy or the collectible and put it in the right spot. Why not just make it so that you can select all out of there and put them in where appropriate? Why do we need to, like, individually go through and add them? I mean, obviously, there should be the option to do that, but that shouldn't be the standard. You shouldn't be required to spend 20 minutes putting cards into a collection just because EA is too lazy to make it more convenient for us. So please, again, EA, make it so that when we go into the collections menu, we can just press one button and your system, knowing that we have a pending collections menu as it is, you just search through there based on the collection that we're looking at and find the cards that are appropriate and then ask us, hey, would you like to add 15 cards to this collection? Why, yes, I would, EA. Thank you for asking. And there you go. That's it. Very, very simple. Okay, now the last one. This one, I think, an another thing that I just, I'm surprised it's not already, not already in the game. And it's something that FIFA has, actually. And it has to do with the search in the auction and the trade block. So, you know, when you're looking through currently in Madden 25 Ultimate Team and you're trying to find a specific card, let's say you're trying to find a Walter Payton running back card, okay? So under the current auction and trade block, you actually have to go in and you have to tell it, I'm looking for a running back, or actually a halfback as the game calls. I'm looking for a halfback and he is on the Chicago Bears. And his rating is somewhere between 95 to 99 because I don't want the stupid rookie legend card. So when you press search, it's actually going to go into the game and it's going to say, okay, let's find those players based on that criteria. And it might not just find Walter Payton. It might also find, let's say, you know, a uh, Matt Forte card. Because again, we're looking for just a Chicago Bears running back. So what my suggestion is, is something very, very simple. And like I said, FIFA already has this, so I don't understand why they haven't implemented it in Madden. But why not make it so that we can find a card based on typing in letters of his name? So like, for example, if I want to find Walter Payton, I just start typing Walter Payton or Payton, and it's going to bring up the players that follow that name. So maybe I'm unaware, actually, that there is more than one Walter Payton card. It would be nice to know that, right? So if I go into the auction block and I type in Payton, P-A-Y-T-O-N, it's going to bring up all the Walter Payton cards that are on the auction block or all the Walter Payton cards that are on the trade block, depending on which menu I'm in. And to me, that would just make things so much more convenient. Because like I said, right now, I have to search through, especially on like the draft collectibles and stuff. That was getting ridiculous. I mean, we couldn't even search it by, you know, player or anything. You actually had to just hope that there weren't hundreds and hundreds of draft collectibles up that were gold because otherwise the card that you were actually looking for might not be there to be found. So to me, I think that it would be so much more convenient if they just made it so that we could search for cards based on the names. 
And again, all these things that I mentioned in this video, I believe are actually fairly minor changes, fairly minor tweaks that they could make to the current product and it would just make things so much easier for everybody. I don't see any downside to any of them. Let me know if you guys do because I, I've thought about it and I just don't see any reason not to implement these changes. It doesn't change anything in terms of like value of the cards, it doesn't change anything in terms of money that EA is bringing in. If, if anything, it's going to make things more convenient so people are going to have more time to play the game, more time to spend money on packs, all that kind of stuff. So guess what? To me, I think EA is going to make more money if they implement these changes. I really do hope that they implement them. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or anything or if you want to make any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Just be sure to leave a comment in the section below and also be sure to press that like button if you liked today's video. I hope you guys did. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you press that subscribe button. Thank you again, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.